Dear audience, welcome to our channel. In recent years, whether it's fighter jets or warships, the fancy term active phased array radar has been widely used. What exactly is an active phased array radar? Let's talk about its applications first. In military applications, phased array radars have a wide range of uses, covering various fields such as land-based, sea-based, airborne, and space-based systems. Taking the latest Arleigh Burke-class destroyer of the U.S. Navy as an example, its SPYR-6 phased array radar can provide comprehensive surveillance of aerial, surface, and submarine targets, significantly enhancing the fleet's air defense and missile defense capabilities. In the air domain, advanced aircraft like the F-22 and F-35 are equipped with miniaturized phased array radars, ensuring their intelligence gathering and operational effectiveness in high dynamic environments. In ballistic missile defense systems, phased array radars also play a crucial role. For example, the US THAAD system is equipped with an X-band active phased array radar, capable of long-range detection of incoming missiles and providing precise tracking data to support interceptor launches. In China, the deployment of the HQ-19 system signifies significant progress in phased array radar technology, further enhancing the country's missile defense capabilities. Currently, the United States leads in phased array radar technology. The U.S. Navy pioneered the use of the Aegis system on warships, primarily relying on phased array radars to achieve its functions. Additionally, a certain type of defense system deployed by the United States in South Korea also utilizes phased array radars, achieving longer detection ranges and higher detection accuracy. Active Phased Array Radar, AESA, is a radar system that controls the direction of the beam electronically. Compared to traditional mechanically scanned radars, it does not need to change the direction of the beam by rotating the antenna but achieves rapid and flexible beam pointing by adjusting the phase of each radiating element. This flexibility allows phased array radars to perform multiple tasks instantly, such as searching, tracking, guiding, and communicating simultaneously. What is the working principle of phased array radar? It's similar to a giant searchlight but controls the beam direction electronically. In phased array radar technology, active and passive phased array radars are two different types, and their differences determine their performance and application range. It's crucial for military enthusiasts and the audience to understand these differences to grasp modern radar technology better. Specifically, it includes 1. What is phased array radar? and how does it differ from traditional radar? 2. What are the principles and performance differences between active and passive phased array radars? Why is active phased array radar more advanced? 3. How is phased array radar applied and developed in the military field? The advantage of phased array radar lies in its multi-target processing capability, wide coverage angle, and detection range. Due to integrated circuit technology, phased array radars have reduced volume and weight, making them more suitable for installation on various small combat platforms. Moreover, phased array radars have high reliability, even if some radar modules fail, they will not affect the performance of the entire radar system. The difference between active and passive phased array radars, active and passive phased array radars are two types of phased array radars. Passive phased array radar has only one radar signal source, which generates signals distributed to each radar module. In contrast, each radar module of active phased array radar has its radar wave transmitter, which can independently transmit and receive signals. Although active phased array radar is more difficult and costly, its performance is more advanced. Therefore, mainstream phased array radars currently are active and passive ones are gradually being phased out. Let's understand the basic principles of radar in simple terms. First of all, we must applaud the inventor of radar, he was indeed a genius. He found a way for radar to detect targets and determine their positions in space using radio waves. Imagine the core component of radar, the magnetron, which can generate high-frequency microwaves. If we simplify this technology, you can think of it as an extremely powerful flashlight that illuminates wherever it is pointed. However, unlike the visible light emitted by traditional flashlights, 
radar emits electromagnetic waves in the S-band and C-band, which are invisible to our eyes. Then, radar has a part that can rotate, like a neck, allowing the antenna to scan left and right to detect different directions. However, this neck cannot rotate too fast, or else it will miss some areas. It rotates about every few seconds, and the areas not covered by rotation become blind spots, where radar cannot see. From an appearance standpoint, traditional radar is somewhat similar to a satellite TV receiver. When it is working, the display screen rotates, indicating the area illuminated by the radar. Targets illuminated by radar will briefly appear and then disappear. If you want to know where the target has gone, you need to wait for the radar to rotate back to that direction after a few seconds to illuminate it again. This is obviously not very flexible because by the time you scan the area again, the target may have flown away, causing an embarrassing delay. This is a brief introduction to how radar works, although simplified, I hope it helps you better understand this complex and ingenious technology. The birth of phased array radar is to solve a series of complex detection problems. In recent years, this term has frequently appeared in the military field, representing an efficient and versatile new radar technology. Although many people may not understand its detailed working principles, today I will provide a simplified explanation for those who are not very familiar. Traditional radars typically have a rotating neck that allows them to rotate and scan the surrounding space. Phased array radars break this pattern, adopting a more modern flat design and eliminating the mechanical rotating part, saving space. However, this is not its most important feature. Both traditional radars and phased array radars aim to detect and track targets, but the latter operates differently. Phased array radars consist of many small detection units, which are arranged regularly on a plane, similar to the compound eyes of insects. Each detection unit can independently transmit and receive electromagnetic waves. When they simultaneously emit signals, by precisely controlling the time difference of the signals emitted by each unit, the detection direction of the radar can be changed without physical movement parts. Imagine each detection unit as a stone thrown into a pond, and the ripples they produce overlap. When the wave peaks meet, if they are in phase, they reinforce each other, forming higher wave peaks, which is what we call constructive interference. On the contrary, when the wave peaks and troughs meet, they cancel each other out, which is the result of destructive interference. By adjusting the timing of the signals emitted by each detection unit, the direction of wave propagation can be controlled. If a detection unit delays the emission of a signal slightly, it will generate what is called phase shift or phase change. In this way, by precisely controlling the emission timing of these units through a computer, the radar beam can be directed to a specific direction. In short, phased array radar relies on the interference principle of electromagnetic waves, and by adjusting the time difference of the signals emitted by each detection unit, it achieves the ability to change the detection direction without physical rotation. This application of technology makes phased array radar a key component of modern military defense systems. The working principle of phased array radar, as its name suggests, is to electronically control the scanning array by controlling the phase. Unlike traditional mechanically scanned radars, phased array radars can perform multiple scans of specified airspace quickly through the control of electronic signals, even reaching hundreds of times per second, while seamlessly tracking multiple targets within the entire scanning area. Phased array radar can be likened to replacing one large flashlight with hundreds of independently controllable small flashlights, similar to the LED matrix headlights used in high-end cars. Through the combination of the illumination directions of these small flashlights, phased array radar can quickly adjust the irradiation direction and range as needed, achieving all-round monitoring without the need for physical rotation. In terms of operation interface, there is no longer a single rotating scanning line, instead, the entire display screen remains lit continuously, displaying detected friendly or hostile targets continuously. Additionally, by controlling the modulation of the transmitting units, the detection range can be adjusted, achieving powerful capabilities similar to full-angle observation, making phased array radar a disruptive technology. Since individual phased array radars alone seem unable to achieve 360-degree coverage without blind spots, 
multiple radars are typically used in actual operations to achieve comprehensive information collection. For example, radars can be deployed on both sides or equipped in four directions, front, rear, left, right, to provide comprehensive protection for the fleet. Finally, let me pose a question to everyone. Modern shipborne phased array radars often adopt layouts of one, two, or four panels. Do you know why three panel designs are not common? In conclusion, let me summarize for the readers, hoping you have gained some insights and reflections. In delving into the technology of phased array radar, we not only understand its principles and applications, but also appreciate the significant importance of technological development for modern military affairs. As a revolutionary radar technology, phased array radar not only improves the efficiency of detection and tracking, but also greatly enhances the flexibility and battlefield advantage of combat platforms. However, with technological advancements and widespread applications, we should also pay attention to the challenges that phased array radar technology may bring. Firstly, as its application scope expands, related security and privacy issues will become increasingly prominent, requiring strengthened laws, regulations, and oversight. Secondly, the high complexity and cost of phased array radar technology may pose higher requirements for resource investment and talent cultivation, necessitating joint efforts from governments and enterprises to enhance technological research and talent development. Therefore, as a seasoned blogger, I call on all sectors to pay attention to the development of phased array radar technology, strengthen technological research, and explore applications while also emphasizing related security and ethical issues to ensure the benign development of technology and social harmony and stability. At the same time, we should recognize that the widespread application of phased array radar technology may pose risks of international security competition and arms races. In this context, the international community needs to enhance communication and cooperation to jointly maintain regional and global peace and stability, avoiding strategic misjudgments and conflict risks arising from technological development. Furthermore, as a blogger, I will continue to follow and share relevant information about phased array radar technology, striving to promote a positive interaction between technological progress and social stability. Meanwhile, I also urge everyone to pay attention to the ethical and social impacts of technological development and contribute to the construction of a harmonious and safe technological future. That's all for today's video. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.